hi guys now we are in the fourth part of the videos right in this videos we are going to see how to check the catheters because it is really very essential for every modeler right because crack surface creates uh it creates what crack between the two surface which means that the solid volumes will not be solid volumes anymore so it is really important that you should close those solid volumes so that uh, the FEO model will recognize that okay this is a single block right so we are going to first identify how the cracks are uh, how does it look like right and then after that we are going to resolve those crack problems uh, one more thing is that Crack problems uh, is not solved by a single method, right? If one method doesn't work, you have to switch to the another one. But mostly topo and the paste uh, works, right? In this one, uh, okay. You mostly use is topo, paste, release, right? Release from the cones, and also insert from the hot ones and release from the hot ones and also project. So if you use uh, this. Uh, uh, options then you will be able to solve the problems okay let's see how we are going to solve the problem so first step to solve the problem as we already know that we have to check so check geometry in that click on pack and have to execute it after execution select all of them okay after selecting you will see that there is a red mark right means there is a crack error now so only now all this area surface have crack error from here we are going to solve one of them let's see okay we are going to resolve this one for that once i am going to remove everyone else okay i think you know uh, how to use this one right First select and then invert it. Okay, you can invert it by using middle button. Now let's see what is going over here. Okay, if you are confused and don't know uh, what the model is look like, then you can switch to the what is a CAD model or surface mode which is a shadow from here right and if you need uh, more data means more surface you know to uh, interpret uh, how the CAD model is then for that once you can just switch to the neighbor and neighbor will bring the nearest surface okay from here you can see that okay this this part is punched outside the this part right so means here we can uh, expect cut but it is uh, still combined with the same metals because it is only a punching process which is done so uh, now we are going to resolve the problems here switching back to the wireframe and then going back now uh by observing the flow of lines we can see that hey we can see that here this line is flowing from here and then straight over here and joining to this node whereas uh, this line is starting from this node and then again going this one is going back to over here and then again joining over here and then this one is going back and okay directly joining to this point now what do we need to consider is that over here uh, this one is not joined to this one and neither this one is joined to this one so it is creating any discontinuities or crack so in order to resolve that problems we have to create hot points or insert hot points over there because you can't connect uh, this line which is shorter line right and this line which is a very long line right and single 
So in order to connect these two lines, you have to break it. So you can break only by using insert hot points. So select these hot points. But I think better option is using project because it will uh, project from from these hot points and directly on this one. Right? We got it. After projecting, what we can do is um, in order to control the topology, right? If you uh, use a topo, it might randomly connect each other. But in order to control the connection between the two lines, I think the better option is to use paste. So use this one and this one and then paste it. Okay, they are asking, do you want to confirm it? This is what you want? Then say, yes, this is what I want. Okay, you have confi confirmed it. Now, the similar way we are going to do another things and which is breaking this line. Because uh, this one is also disconnected, right? And uh, this line is very short and this one is too long. Okay, after projecting, we are seeing that uh, that line have already aligned with this line, right? So uh, you can't, you will, uh, you will be tricked. Like you will see that there is only one single lens, but actually there is two. So uh, while by selecting, you will recognize that one. Okay, okay, you got one, you got one. Okay, you got both of the lines over here. Just double click over there, you will see that once. And then middle click. Similarly over here, single click and you still see some red colors over here, which means there is still one single cons. Okay, you did it, right? So now we are going to move ahead and recheck whether we have done the things in a right way or not, or and whether we have removed the error or not. So we are going to rerun. Oh, that's great. There is no error. So we have achieved this feat. Now we are going to move ahead in another error.